Hello my gorgeous Capricorn, welcome to this reading and welcome, welcome to this channel. Caesar's greetings from London and I hope you enjoy my new decorations for this, yeah, for the events of December. As you know, Christmas is coming. <laughs> Not that I'm counting anyways. Now, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing well. So this is going to be uh, money, finances, business, career and all the beautiful things you want and need in your life for the month of December 2023, the last month of the year, where the year's gone, Capricorn. By the way, happy birthday to you who is celebrating your birthday on December, okay? So I really hope you're a fabulous day. I really hope your next new year is amazing. Anyhow, Capricorn, thank you so much for being here. Did you know when you like and you subscribe, comment and share, it really helps me to help you. And I call this energy exchange. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Now, let's have a look at the beginning, middle and end of the month. Okay, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus especially as well, because Venus rules the second house of money. So please find out what is your Venus sign. That will give you more understanding of yourself, what makes you choice of career, what makes you push the buttons, what makes you regarding and around the monies as well that is ever so interesting you ready let's dive in five of swords some sort of conflict okay bear with me but you are here that's good to see I'm going to pull straight away the cards because there is a kind of duality is happening. So I just want to be absolutely clear on. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. What I'm feeling here with this five of swords which is usually kind of like a shallow, shallow victory, okay? It could be as old, but maybe some, some of you, either you or someone else, is keeping their tongue in the in intact, okay? Kind of holding you back, okay? Wanting it to say something, but you are not to keep the peace. But did you know when you keep, keep for the sake of keeping peace around you and not expressing yourself, you're actually starting a war within yourself, and that is something to do either with the people that you're working with or surrounding, okay? I do feel like um, you have been choosing something. Something hasn't been, like, maybe something has been presented as, like, this glorious idea or, oh, this is great, you know? It could be a person who is water signed, not necessarily, but it could be as well who is very ever so... Um, charismatic in ways and they are very emotional sometimes a little bit too much as well and that could is maybe not the best quality for the business and it sometimes kind of makes you wonder okay hmm is this the right person is this the right decision that I made is this the right place where I'm at right now and you're kind of feeling mm, I'm not sure but you kind of somehow you have committed. There's a the people that you're working with, you are ever so help, happy and content with. Uh, but I do feel like at the beginning of the month, there could be some ideas or offer that comes your way that you feel like, mm, I'd like to commit. However, when I'm seeing the devil, which is actually yourself here, which is a card of, are you running from the bear into wolf's arms? Are you jumping from the pan in the fire? And that's what spirits want to tell me, okay? There could be some offer coming your way, okay? That is going to be completely different. Or maybe you're looking for something. We have another Knight of Cups. It could be a person. But, and if this is a person, I know this is money reading, but if this is a person in the workplace, this could be really tricky. It could be that there's a person that you're kind of getting really close. You're having good chats. You really enjoy those chats, okay? And you just perhaps need to be wary whether you are ready to cross that line. Because once you cross that line, you can't step back in into that as it was before, okay? 
and because I do feel like there's a lot of passion about something, um, and that could come into some sort of responsibility. The emotions are mutual, but are they healthy? Are they professional? Let's put, pull a couple of more cards. You meant to be like it, it doesn't feel like there's a lesson. Have you? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, hold on a second. Hold the horses. Capricorn, you've been here before, haven't you? You will recognize this situation. You know this. It feels familiar. Either this is at work where you feel very close, like there is a great energy. There's a um, and it's a, and it's nothing wrong with it, but this relationship or this kind of ways of working, it's kind of starting to perhaps could affect your current relationship. I'm not here to judge you. Okay. Uh, it could be affect your business mindset, could be affecting your business per se as well. It's just a lesson. It kind of keeps coming back again. Let's have a look. Okay, I see. You want someone in your life who understands you as a person and understands you as a business person. And maybe you don't have that right now. And maybe you see that at work within someone. And you like that this person is rather strong and strict and, and has money and has power. But is this kind of shallow kind of look at things? I'm not here to judge. And this is not the love reading. But I, this is really coming through. And I say it might not resonate with everyone. But when this comes through, I have to pass on these energies okay, and messages. Um... I do feel like you have a, oh wow, what is the integrity? <laughs> it is interesting. Are, are you or you're not going to cross that line? However, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, we got to go into detail a little bit. Not everyone, and probably not even a majority even, but very few who are watching, I'm not here to judge. But I'm going to say something, okay? There will be some sort of opportunity for you to do some sort of deals that are not either legal or not entirely legal, not maybe completely illegal. I'm not here to advise yes or no, okay? I'm not here to judge or, or advise. And they might go well, okay? And they might go well, but... The, you will be paying for it later, sooner or later. If this is something that you shouldn't be doing, okay, this will catch up with you. Hope not in courthouse, but this will kind of really remind you about integrity. And that's all I'm going to say, okay? And that's all I'm going to say. You will know this, okay? You will be kind of lucky. There will be some lucky breaks and you'll be like, whew. That was that was easy, okay? Because sometimes bending some laws or or accountancies or whatever it is, but you could be once you make one lie, then you need to make another lie, and then on and on and on it goes, okay? It will catch up eventually. Are you prepared for that? Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyhow, let's move on. Middle of the month, Mercury goes in retrogrades. Ooh, notorious Mercury. Anyways, it's a very good point to kind of revisit maybe people you never visited for a long time or revisit old goals and dreams. And if they didn't work previously, maybe change the ways you're doing them or have a different approach perhaps, okay? You're searching something. We have Virgo here. There is some sort of soul searching. Maybe you're coming to... And maybe you're coming to the age where, and I'm going to say age, doesn't matter what age it is, but you're coming to the point where you're feeling in your life, hmm, who am I? What am I supposed to do? What is my purpose? And it doesn't matter how much money you have or don't have, you would still have these questions. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay. Very interesting. I don't see that things are going bad, but I do feel like you have this, it 
could be the time of the year. Okay. In Northern Hemisphere, we do have much more darkness and maybe darker evenings can lead to questions such as why I'm here, what I'm doing, what I'm doing in my business, why I'm actually in this work, why I'm doing this business and what, 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 what. And there's so much questions. And there is like, you feel like there's some sort of dream that is calling me. And some of you could actually be seeing a dream at night or seeing something, okay? And you feel like, um, should I be following this? I will clarify this because deep down in your heart, you something don't you you don't see that things are well, and they they could improve, for sure, and you have that opportunity and you have that uh, power to do so, but maybe some of you don't feel like how no, you kind of feel like that there is some sort of you, some of you might feel like I have a run out of the luck. No, you haven't, and it could be as well that. You might realize, you know, that other person or this kind of dodgy kind of dealings, that will come to an end. That that kind of lifestyle or that kind of dealings with things or people, that is eventually come to an end. And you will start to realize, okay, what it is I'm meant to be doing. Really um, interesting energy. Six of Cups. It's a, actually kind of a reminder, and that is so super interesting because Mercury is in retrograde in your sign, okay? And you will be very strongly connected with that. And you might feel that you're going backwards, and not that you're going backwards in your success or your in your growth, but you will be revisiting some sort of dreams. What did I want to do when I was 6 or 20 or whatever, 50 years old, okay, whatever your age is, and it will be kind of like soul searching, okay? Something that is making you ever so happy or passionate about things. And I feel that way. That you will be revisiting internally something. What makes me tick? What makes me happy? Because you are one of those people, if something doesn't make you happy, you will do but out of duty, okay? You will do out of responsibility, but comes to the point where you want to be ever you want to be happy and once you're happy once you're kind of have the passion for things you are unstoppable and maybe you have become cool you don't you have lost it in a fire and you feel like oh i need to relight that my fire again okay and i want to be my own person again be that in, I'm in power, I, I'm making decisions, I'm making changes, I'm in charge. And that's, maybe you're feeling that you're not in charge or you're feeling that you kind of lost your ways uh, just to make more money or finally you can afford or you want to really go after something that is making you happy and content. Right, let's have a look at the end of the month. Wow, celebration. So what are you celebrating? Changes transformation there is some sort of recognition coming okay i'm not just walking away and if this is going to be random this is going to be random might not be to everyone but i feel like you're going to be discovering unless you are undercover uh police officer or working with with the law enforcement you will have some sort of great results okay it was funny that we were talking about illegalities or something i i I don't know how, but this is all makes sense. Okay, to me at least. It kind of feels like there will be some sort of um, out of blue, out of, I don't know, out of darkness. There will be some sort of light coming out, okay? You will feel that uh, things are finally making sense. And I maybe as well, if it's not the case with regarding working on the cover, and as I said, it might not resonate, more than likely it's not going to resonate with everyone. But I kind of feel like the light, the light is going to shine through. And it's so interesting. We have the two major corners, which is like the darkness and the light. And through being in, especially in the middle of the month where you felt like, hmm, I have these so many questions. I don't know what I'm doing, what do I need to do. Maybe that darkness has made you realize how actually good your life is. Or has you realized what the light it is that I want in my life. And you are on the move. Now, let's have a look. 
you can't make this up twice you have the star twice you have aquarius in your uh reading okay and it's just saying this i want to be happy i want to be top uh professional okay making decisions like emperor having those healthy boundaries um be maybe in public's eye maybe you want to be back and if someone who is maybe um, being working from home or being on maternity paternity leave maybe finally you want to go back to work and be in the public eye or be in a office or whenever that is it kind of makes you really happy and content but this is about well, rewards and recognitions People are gonna be looking up to you. There will be like a um, glasses will be um, um, chin chin, you know, uh, having drinks or a celebration. And I feel like some of you have come through a lot. There could be. I I I would be surprised that you're actually getting promotion here, even. Okay, because it does feel like you have come through some. Some quite dark times to be honest okay and you do deserve it people will gonna be either you're sharing your story maybe somewhere maybe you are in, in you know, inspiring others with mental uh well-being or anything like that and it kind of really makes sense and people will be looking up to you your name is going to be mentioned a lot okay uh there could be some lots of recognitions whatever it is we have the in occupation and we have the main female it's, which is counterpart of the main male. It kind of feels like things are going to come together. Things will make sense at work. And the occupation, whatever you do. You will find that it that you were looking for. You will find that it that you were looking for. And you don't have to look too far. It was right within you. That answer all along. What an interesting month indeed. Very, very interesting indeed. Anyways, you are a star. You know that. And you are good enough. You are more than good enough. You are amazing. Capricorn, thanks so much for being here. If you want to stick around, there's a couple of videos that will pop up on the screen. Welcome to my channel. There's a good few Pika Car readings to um, explore. And you will not get bored indeed. But remember, when you like, share and comment and subscribe, it really helps me to help you. And let's call this energy exchange okay thank you so much for being here i'm sending you love and light and abundance and i'll see you guess where in the next rating Ta -da.